The Boy Scouts of America has followed through with its new policy of banning openly gay scout leaders. The organization revoked the charter of Rainier Beach United Methodist Church because its scoutmaster, Jeffrey McGrath, is gay. Under the Boy Scouts of America's decision, the church's 15 scouts can no longer use its logo, uniforms, or name associates with the Boy Scouts unless it dismisses McGrath. The Reverend Dr. Monica Cassaro, who pastors the Rainier Beach United Methodist Church, joins us by phone from Seattle, Washington. Pastor Cassaro, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me today. Uh, I just wonder what your reaction is. Tell, first of all, tell us about Jeff McGrath and your reaction to uh, this uh, threat to rev revoke the charter. Well, Jeff is um, the the perfect poster boy for an Eagle Scout and when an Eagle Scout becomes a man and how he wants to give back to society and how he wants to give back to com his community. He uh, um, is a passionate, um, quiet, laid back guy who um, gets those details and um, and allows kids energy around him to, to, to sort of um, be in a healthy way. Uh, he himself has a a master's of social work degree, so uh, knows a little bit of, of even how to care for kids that that, that might be high needs, and um, and of course we all know he's an Eagle Scout, so he knows the whole and complete journey of what scouting is, and for him he just has so much passion and love for the program that he wanted to be able to share it, especially with our our high risk, high needs kids in in Rainier Beach and um, and just kids who want to be part of a, a, a group and, and learn some skills. Are you surprised by this action from the Boy Scouts of America? I mean, this this decision came at the national convention. It was a compromise as opposed to banning all uh, gay people from participating, that it, that it was a, just a ban on uh, troop leaders. So did you see this coming? Well, we did see it coming the way it has come down, literally, to come down. Uh, you know, we didn't expect that we would get a, a unilateral letter on Good Friday, uh, which is a big day for we Christians, and um, and kind of kind of disappointing that the Boy Scouts themselves don't honor their own language. Uh, we are called a charter partner, and it seems to me when partners have a disagreement or or uh, need some clarity on understanding of things that we talk things through, but there have been no discussions. Uh, the, the BSA just has been sending unilateral letters to us, and that, that does not say to me that, that we are truly equal partners uh, in doing um, outreach and ministry to our, our young men. Yeah, so what are you going to do? We're going to continue on. Uh, um, our, our Cub Pack met last night, and our Boy Scouts will meet this Thursday with parents, and uh, we're going to, we have many, many options uh, on the road before us. We've had many, uh, in fact, your audience will appreciate international offers for us to uh, affiliate with them. Um, and so we're, we're going to look to see, you know, what, what's best. But first and foremost is to have high quality programming for our young guys with all of their leaders and to keep the troops together. Um, the parents are 100 percent behind keeping the troop together and having it meet at Rainier Beach United Methodist Church in, in whatever form that may take. Yeah, sometimes in these controversial is issues when there are young people involved, the young people kind of get forgotten and lost in the shuffle. What have you said to the boys that are a member of this uh, troop? That's right. Well, with the young ones, um, they they haven't seen anything different. Uh, they just know that Jeffrey is actually on vacation this week, celebrating his anniversary. So he was gone. He's been gone, but he was gone. You know, it's pre-planned. Um, so we're just keeping it consistent, um, keeping the programming high, and uh, the older boys, of course, know what's going on and um, are, are standing with Jeffrey. So you know, we're being age appropriate. Keep it consistent. Keep it. Keep. Uh, um, the, the kids safe and, and know that they're loved and, and know that they have a, a consistent place they can come to. And then with the older ones, they, they know they might be part of something a little bit bigger than themselves. Uh, are you planning to sue Boy Scouts of America? We have no plans to sue, but we um, do have representation. And, uh, you know, we do have a lawyer who's helping us look at, you know, what, what the possibilities are and could be. You know, gay marriage has been not only controversial in this country, but specifically in the United Methodist Church denomination-wide. Uh, it's interesting that uh, you've taken a, a, 
a position of support, do you have the support of the denomination and other churches in your area? Yes, we have the support of our uh, annual conference and of my uh, bishop. We're, we're in the Pacific Northwest Annual Conference, and my bishop's Grant Hagia, and he fully supports this. While we uh, while we're not in agreement about marriage in the United Methodist Church, we are in full agreement in the United Methodist Church that we are not to discriminate that everybody is is welcome and that we don't discriminate uh, because of uh, who somebody loves, that all people are of sacred worth. So so on that one, we're very clear, and, uh, and, the, and the church can back me up on that one. Uh, as I understand it, uh, former CIA Director Robert Gates is uh, going to Boy Scouts of America, and you're optimistic about that. Tell me why. It, it seems to be an op optimistic move in that he's the one that, um, you know, helped helped get rid of Don't Ask, Don't Tell. It, it seemed when Don't Ask, Don't Tell was, was getting written, that was for that moment. But look how far we've come uh, in all those years. And then he was able to, to get the military to, to be open. Um, so maybe he can help get the Boy Scouts to be open as well. Oh, all right, Dr. Monica Cassaro, thank you so much for your time and for the interview. We do appreciate it. I think it is important to note that we did reach out to the Boy Scouts of America and they are not granting media interviews, but they did send us a statement and it reads in part, the Boy Scouts of America does not proactively inquire about the sexual orientation of our members, but we, we don't believe the topic of sexual orientation has a role in scouting and it is not discussed unless it is deliberately injected into scouting. Went on to say, we are saddened by this development, but remain committed by providing all youth with the best possible scouting experience. We have already identified a new charter organization to sponsor the unit and are contacting the parents. And that is from the Boy Scouts of America. And this is Arise America.